Well, congratulations on this movie. It really is just so funny. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That makes us so happy. That's exactly what we wanted. We just wanted everyone to just laugh with us and not at us, you know, to relate right. to it. And that's what this whole movie's about. It's about learning about our culture and learning about our, you know, leaving this, this movie by relating to us more than anything. It is obviously so funny, but it's got these deeper, pretty deep themes of loving people in front of you, even when it's hard. So talk a little bit about the process of why you made this movie, why you wanted to bring this story to the big screen at this time. This is a story that I've been telling my whole career. You know, it's it's loosely based on my stand up and and also my real life. It's it, this is my family, you know, and uh, and it was fun to actually sit here and watch these characters come to life, especially the great Lydia Gaston. Like it, it was just there were times and scenes where I was in tears, the Balak Bayan box scene, there was, a, there, there was a moment there where I saw her fight with uh, Tia, and it was just so real that I, I started tearing up, and I was just like, whoa, that, this, is, this is too close to home. So yeah, thank God for Lydia Gaston. As a mom, you were just so long suffering in this movie. So what <laughs> message do you really want families and moms especially to take away from your character? Well, I think that, um, you know, m I would like uh, moms to trust that their upbringing of their uh, children is going to uh, last through, the, is, is, was good, you know, because we, as a parent, you doubt yourself so much, or did I, did I do this right? Or, you know, did, is, is it my fault? You know, the, like, did I, did I make my daughter, I have a daughter, did I make my daughter paranoid by always worrying about things? But they're, they're really gonna be fine because you were a good parent. You did your best and it was good enough, you know? So, and I can see with Joe, he's so successful, his mother did a good job. So the church plays such a big role in this movie. Religion plays such a big role in this movie. Joe, how has religion or faith sort of informed your life or, or, or your career? Well, you know, when, when, when my mom came to this country, it was like in the late 60s, right? 68, 69. So um, there was no Instagram. There was no Facebook. There was no TikTok to find her community, you know? She yeah. moved to this country and basically blind. You know, she had to find other Filipinos to associate with, and she had to find her community and build it herself. And the way she did that was through church. We were mm -hmm. in church every Sunday, you know, one, because of her faith, you know what I mean? And then two, because she really wanted to see other Filipinos. And that's where she met them. Like, she would literally be at church just looking around. You know, I, I clearly remember my mom just, oh, I'm going to walk up to her and yeah, start a conversation. And next thing you know, we got this, this full-on... Filipino community. We would rent out the nice at Columbus Hall and, and have like <laughs> gatherings with uh, all our Filipino friends. We would have our Christmas parties there, our Easter parties there. And wow. it was fun growing up. That was my, my, my most memorable times were the friends that my mom met through church. Are you still impacted by that today? Like, do you still have the, the lasting effects of that? Of course. It, it's just, it's, it's embedded in us. Like, like that's, how we're raised and it's uh and that's why i named this movie easter sunday it's the most memorable holiday that i can think of uh mm -hmm. especially bringing the whole family together it was always easter sunday for me and, and then lydia i'm pretty sure yeah. the same yeah i i think when you go to to the churches where there are a lot of filipinos it here uh, in the states it really recreates what i grew up with in the philippines because i grew up in the philippines and it's almost it's almost exactly the same. So this is where Filipinos recreate what they miss back in the Philippines. So yeah, it's it's very important to to this Filipino community. Yeah. I want to hear really quick from both of you guys. What ultimately is your hope for Easter Sunday? Well, I don't hope for anything. I I know for a fact that this movie is going to get our message across 
uh, we finally have a voice. It's going to also uplift and uh, give a, a sense of pride to a lot of Filipinos out there that don't feel like they're being heard. And on top of that, it's it's a movie that's going to show the world that we're all relatable. No matter what race, religion you are, a family is a family, a mom's a mom, a son's a son. And that's what this movie is to me. And I know that's what it's going to do. Yeah, I, I agree with Joe. I've seen him in his shows, and that's exactly the feeling that we get from the audience. It's that we are we are all we're all experiencing the same thing of family pain, joy. You know, it's it's we're we're all we're all human that way. Yeah. So I think Easter Sunday really does show that. Well, I think so too, and I really enjoy talking to you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.